Number 80. Ethanol, which is C2H5OH, is used as a fuel for motor vehicles, particularly in Brazil. And then we have letter B. So now they say the density of ethanol is 0.7893 grams per mil. Calculate the enthalpy of combustion of exactly one liter of ethanol. Okie dokie. So in part A, we basically found out how to get this balanced equation of the combustion of ethanol as well as the delta H value. So if you didn't do A and you want to see where we got these numbers, you could go back one video on the playlist if you guys are on the playlist, and I will do that for you guys. But we're moving on. So in this case, we want to know what's the heat or what's the enthalpy of exactly one liter. Now in this case, for one mole of the ethanol, I will produce out 1,234.88 kilojoules. That's for one mole. But I don't want one mole, I want one liter. So let's see. We have to start with one liter because that's what they gave me, right? So I have one liter and that's a volume. And maybe I'll just say that it's of ethanol. And what else did they tell me? Well, they told me that we had a density. We had 0 0.7893 grams per mil. So I have a volume, I have a density. Oh, volume and density, I could use the density formula, right? D equals M over V. If I have the density and I have the volume, I can solve for the mass. So if I just rewrite this, right, the mass equals density times the volume, right? And maybe I'll just put a V here. But now just make sure that your volume units match. I was given liters, but my density is in mils. I, I gotta convert one of them. It's easier for me to just convert the one liter. I know that one liter, liter to milliliter, you multiply by a thousand. So this would be the same thing as a thousand mils. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to find out my mass. M equals the density, 0 0.7893 times a thousand. I don't put the units in when I'm doing my calculations because I check beforehand. So in this case, I just move the decimal over three times to the right and I get 789.3 and that unit would be in grams because the unit for the density is in grams. So my mass would be in grams. And now this is how many grams is equivalent to one liter of the ethanol. So now that's what I'm going to start with. So maybe I'll just put like a little divider here. So now let's say, okay, I have 789.3 grams of the ethanol, which is C2H5OH. I don't want grams. I need to keep going so that I either can get to a kilojoule or a mole. But hey, I know how to go from grams of ethanol to mole of ethanol. That's basically this whole chemistry course, right? Throw the unit on the bottom. All we're doing is just dimensional analysis. Grams of C2H5OH on the bottom, mole of C2H5 on the top, OH. And remember, gram to mole relationship of the same compound is the periodic table. Always one mole is equal to whatever the mass is of the periodic table of this compound. So let's figure it out. We got two carbons, so 12.01 times two, plus I got a total of six hydrogens, and then I have one oxygen and, and ethanol, so I'm just gonna add 16. So I get roughly 46.068. That's gonna cancel out my grams of the ethanol. Now I'm at moles. <gasps> now I can finally incorporate this conversion, right? This ratio. I don't want moles, I want kilojoules, so. I'm just gonna multiply by the ratio. I'm gonna throw the mole of C2H5OH on the bottom, and now I'm gonna put kilojoule at the top, right? Now I'm gonna use this value. This is saying for every one mole of ethanol, because I have one mole in my balanced equation, 
I will release, the negative means release, 1,234.88 kilojoules. So the negative goes up on the top, 1234.88 for every one mole. Cancel out the mole, and now we come to our answer. So let's see, we get 789.3 times 1234.88 divided by 46.068. Whoa, a lot of heat here. Negative 21,157 point, I guess we'll cut it off after one decimal. Uh, I mean, technically, we do have four sig figs here. So eh, maybe I'll cut it up. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Right now, I don't really care about sig figs. If you wanted sig figs, it would be 21.16. But I'm just going to leave the decimal. So it's going to be this, 0.7. And that's how many kilojoules. Now, remember, the negative just means that it's being released. There's no such thing as negative amounts of energy. So you will still produce, right, or calculate the enthalpy of combustion. You're still going to produce 21,157.7 kilojoules. It's just going to be released into the environment, a.k.a. the surroundings. So you're done here, all right? If you wanted to say that this would be per one liter, that's fine with me as well. Usually enthalpy is in kilojoules per something. So if you wanted to say kilojoule per liter. That's fine with me. Kilojoule. That's good too. All right. So that's it. We have one more part for this question. So stick around for part C or letter C. Uh, if you're on the playlist, I'll, I'll see you in five seconds and we'll do letter C. All right. So yeah, I'll see you in a few. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.